Hello, my name is Corey Toombs, and today I'm going to do a resource review. I'm going to review RPG Maker DS Resource Pack, which you can buy for $29.99 from RPG Maker Web. And I'm just going to go over what's included in this pack. So I'm going to close this. And here's all my resources that I have and the DS resource pack. I'm going to go to properties. And let's see, it is 126 megabytes. It has 510 files and 22 folders. So these are the exact statistics. And you open the th first thing, it has tutorials. DS materials, change log, and a readme file. Let's just go to the DS materials. You have freebies, audio, graphics, and scripts. Now, the audios is uh, background music in OGG. There are 20 OGG files. Um, I will play some of those later because I can't play them on my computer. I can only play them in ACE. Um, you have some scripts, um, one to five member party status HUDs and some other stuff. I've never really bothered to use any of this, but it, I'm going through everything that's includes. The biggest, the biggest thing that this has is, of course, the graphics. Feel free to modify, I believe, is just bigger size stuff that you can then just open and uh, making it easier to modify them such as these battlers there's lots of battlers I've renamed some of them which you might want to do because like um, the RTP already includes an archer so if you put archer in there it will only read this one so I re renamed it archer 1 so that if you want to use an archer from both the default system and the um, DS pack, you need to rename some of these. I think I just renamed all of them. So just rename them and then you'll have both and it will override them. Overwrite them. Characters. There's a lot of characters. Um, character sheets. And these sprites are really nice. Um, they're really great. Sprites. And you have a lot. Event objects like drains and uh, fireplaces. And uh, faces. The faces are are very gr are great. They're great faces. You, you can see you got four different faces for each different character you could have for all this well you have four different sprites for each different character too usually so there's a lot of stuff in here like this is way better than what you're getting in the default system pictures well these are um the pictures of the characters you could use these um as bus for dialogue and stuff, you just have to sh show picture above the dialogue box. System, you got icons. Now with the icons, I would suggest um, if you're using these icons, I find them a little small. Um, but you should export the icons you have and just put um, put these below them. And there's these icons too, which were made by our yeah, I don't know if I'm saying that right. And there's big icons too, which which of course the window is great, and I will show that. I have um, I will show that. Okay, we're going to go into the tile sets now, and there's a lot of tile sets, a lot in this pack, um, and they're great. There's there's different areas, ice areas and. Sewer areas, sewer areas, and lava areas. Um, 
you can make sort of like a mid uh, mid eastern thing here. Um, towns, castles, towers, forests, um, houses. Like most people usually are buying these things for the tile sets. So um, I don't think you'll be disappointed with, with what, what this includes. If you like the graphical style of, of this, the tile sets, the best part of this pack I have to say is the, probably the tile sets. I, um, well, it, does, it has a lot of stuff. Like the battlers are great, the characters are great, the faces are great, the tile sets are great, and the music's great, and the window is great. This this is the best. This is the best resource pack that I think they made so far, which is why I've done this video first. Now I want to show like some what some of the stuff looks like. Well, I'm not the greatest mapper, but I want to show some of the music and um, battlers stuff in action. So here I have a world map, and I've just made two little areas here to, um, to show here. And I put some of the music here already to begin with. With um, you can see the new, the new um, window. The window is great. I've used it in tons of games. It's awesome. It's better than anything. Yeah, new game. Okay, um, you can see I, I've, I've already, I've, I put four characters here. I haven't really done anything with them. You can see their faces. Um. And the window, and um, I think I put a battle on this map. And here you can see the battlers, the rat and the spider, and uh, these guys are all not going to stand much of a chance. These are just pretty much default stuff. And let's go into the forest. I'm gonna put a different sound into this forest place. And uh, I changed the battle music here. Probably didn't put a battle back here. I forgot to do that. This is, uh, examples of some of the great music that is in this pack. 20 background musics. Which is, you know, is adds quite a lot to what you own. If you just have the default stuff, this adds quite a, quite a variety to to what you have. Like, the battle music is just great. It's really hard to compare with what you've got in your default game. I think this is compared to what you paid for for other things. This has got the most stuff in it that you will probably use. I'd have to say. Uh, I've I have a lot of different resources and I think this is on the top of my list as the best resource for 
everything it has. And I highly recommend that if you have no resources and you're thinking, which resource should I buy? The DS resource pack is the best one, in my opinion. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I included all the facts that you need um, to make your decision. And have a great day. Bye-bye.